XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Good morrow and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am not sure how you got here, but I'm certainly glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and collections, this is the place for you and I suggest you go ahead and subscribe, because why not? And if you haven't seen the rest of these collections, I don't know what to tell you, but there's a playlist somewhere over here that you can check out if you finish this and you wanna see what else I got? I got a lot of stuff. Anywho, what we're here with today is all of my concealers. We're not ranking shit. Uh, I will not rank my children. That is where we are. And we're just going to, I guess, play them, uh, talk about them, do some swatches here and there. I have a lot of concealer, like way more concealer than I thought that I had. So let's, uh, without further ado, get started. Let's get it started. I'm sorry I did that to y'all and... Also, no, I'm not. All right, so we're actually going to uh, start with Florence. This is, Florence by Mills is a little brand. I feel like it's for like younger folk and it's the See You Never concealer. I like, I haven't decided if I like it or not. It's all right so far. Like, it's all right. Like, I don't dislike it. I don't love it, but this is the shade. It's, it's okay. It's not doing a lot, but it's not doing too much. I feel like it, it is definitely for young people. It's very thin. It's a very thin consistency. Um, you know, it's not super thick or anything. I like that. It's very lightweight. It doesn't seem to settle into my lines too badly, but like I have lines and things are going to settle in them. So I need to play with that one more. I'm not sure how I feel about it. This one I got from Shop Miss A. It's their f flagship line, uh, the AOA Studio. They sent these over to me in PR and this is their liquid concealer. This is actually a very nice concealer. I was surprised by it, like more than I'd like to admit, I was surprised by it. It's quite lovely. This one's in Nutmeg. For some reason, I don't know why I only got one of these and it's really bothering me because I keep swearing that I have two of them, but I really think that I only have the one. We're just gonna move past the, my memory, but it is a little bit of a thicker concealer because I feel like this is more full coverage than light, so that's a situation in and of itself, but that's that there. And it's kind of nice, like it has, it's almost the same, it's a little bit under the same shade. I would, I kind of at this point, I would say if you want just a little bit more coverage than the Florence by Mills, but the same kind of lightweight consistency, then that way it might actually work for you, so. Nice, 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 we're concealing. Okay, moving forward, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Uh, I don't know that I love this one with like my entire heart, like it's okay, and I'm gonna play with it some more and some, make some determinations on it. Um, this one, you can begin to see like, you'll see like some of my older concealers and see like where I was going wrong with like, well, I wasn't going wrong, I was just a different color. <laughs> But this one I bought recently. I think that this one's okay. I feel like there's something about the consistency. It's right here. I do feel like there's something about the consistency that I don't love. So I think I might put that in my like last chance, like last chance to, okay. Anyways, so that's a thing. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the uh, Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I actually really like this concealer. It's a little bit brown though. I kind of wish I'd chosen a different shade. Oop, I'm getting a concealer on things. Hold on please whilst I um, access that account. This is what it looks like. I feel like it's just a, like, I, I, I really kind of wish it had a little bit more of a little tiny bit more of a reddish tone to it because it's just not where I want it exactly, but I do like it. I feel like this is super lightweight, but also it's buildable. So that's not a bad thing. We're going to take a moment, uh, be right back. Cause we got to wash up and uh, cause we got a lot, a lot more concealer to go through. Uh. Next up, we have the Ordinary Concealers. These are really thick. I I need to play with them again, but I feel like they were so thick. I got three of them there because I couldn't decide. They, it's really hard to color match with them, and I haven't figured out exactly why. It's, there's I probably know deep down in my soul, but I don't want to think about it. But they seemed really thick, and I'm going to try it again. I felt like it was not only thick, but it was like super cakey. I got it in 3.2R, 3.2N, and 3.1R. So I really was trying, but like 
It is a very, very thick concealer. And I think that that might be the problem is it's like, it is so full coverage that it's like, cause they, they call it a high coverage formula. I would almost, <laughs> I would almost switch out the concealer formula with their with the serum foundation and I would use the serum Foundation for concealer and I would use this as a foundation if I'm gonna be honest because it's so damn thick Like it reminds me of the bye bye under eye with the thickness of it And I did feel like it was just like really willing to settle in like every little nook and cranny not a fan but again i'm gonna try that again at some later date and see if maybe i was just wrong i also have two concealers from oma beauty i have one uh that is t1 brown sugar and the other is t4 they're both in the brown sugar line if you don't know they, they kind of have them in like different um shades and so like they have like the brown sugar brown sugar and i'm in brown sugar which is like the tea area so anyways this is uh the what they look like on the outside the t1 i think i got this by accident i feel like i just wasn't paying attention um and i sometimes i do like this no i was pale that's why okay <laughs> As I like, so here's the thing, I start getting pale and I like to have, when I get more pale, I like to have a little bit more yellow in my concealer. And um, wait, let me, if, if I, when I get darker, I like to have a little more yellow in my concealer. And when I am lighter as I am now, then I like to have a little bit more of the red. So because of that's how my skin tone is, that's how it changes. So that's both of them. I really like this concealer. It's very emollient, bouncy, it looks good, natural. Your skin would better if you're a spot conceal person. Uh, my dear friend Emily often uses that to spot conceal their face instead of using a foundation because they're not a foundation hoe like I am. So I highly recommend that. Uh, strangely and funnily enough, one of my favorite concealers is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer, the creamy one. I really like this. It is just like, I, I love just slathering this on my face. Listen, don't come for me, but I enjoy it. It's just, it's a really nice concealer. I think this is one of the th products that they did really well on. It's right here. This is a product that they did really well on. I really like it. It has very nice coverage. I can use it with fancy ass foundation as well as with a cheaper foundation. So I, I can be bougie, bougie or economical and this goes with them and it's relatively inexpensive for an American. I don't know how it is across the ponds, but I'm sorry if it's really expensive. Uh, Next up, we have the Il Maquillage Fuck I'm Flawless Concealer, and I kind of think that I hate this. There's a few reasons why. Um, <laughs> the main one being that you're supposed to just kind of like let this shit sit on your face, and I feel like if I'm making like the full triangle or whatever, because it's supposed to just like sit on your face and then it like adjust to your skin tone or whatever the fuck. I don't know the magic behind the science, but like that's what it's supposed to do. And the thing is, I feel like I just don't care for that. In fact, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and let this go now because I realize that like, I really don't like it. I don't like to wear it. I don't ever reach for it. Whenever I look at it, I'm always like, oh, I should try that again. And I feel like that's one of those products where I know I don't want to try it again. I don't, and I'm gonna let it go. You know what I mean? Just like, let her cry. Also. If you hadn't noticed from video to video, I'm trying different functions on my camera. I'm like doing things to learn it better. So like, you know, give me a little grace because I'm seeing like which function I like the best. As a matter of fact, while we're here, I'm gonna switch it. Midway, what? Switch. Yeah. Let me know if you like this better because I've been playing with my camera in the settings. So I'm trying to see which film mode I like the most because I've been filming with it for so long, just like out the box. And I was like, Audra, you're not being professional, learn. Anyway, next up we have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This is a full coverage concealer. I popped it on um, oop, oop, right here. Right here is where this is. It is a full coverage concealer. It's very nice. It's light, it's airy. It looks pretty on the skin, but again, you can get carried away because it is full coverage, so don't get it twisted. It is really going to cover. It does settle a little bit in my fine lines, but again, I am elderly. It's going to settle in my fine lines point blank and period. There's no way around that. Next up, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. Uh, this is a very nice concealer. I love it. Here was the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, what happened here is I liked the foundation so much that I went ahead and picked up the concealer and I like it. You know what I mean? Like it's very nice. The doe foot is lovely. And on top of that, I can get uh, pretty much my entire face, like everything I want concealed with one, um, 
one pull that's it right here it's quite nice i like it a lot i tend to think that like i like the shade in it and i feel like clinique has come a little bit of a long way it also has a little bit of a luminosity to it that i wasn't prepared for like here but it gives like just kind of like a little bit of glow it like takes a little bit for me it takes a little bit of that deep hollow out of my under eyes because i have a very deep hollow like these are hereditary also i drink so there's that next up we have the pat mcgrath uh, skin fetish. I, I like, I'm always trying to say Pat McGrath shit because there's so much shit, like so many words, but it's like the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime perfection concealer. I actually really enjoy this concealer, but it is highly, highly emollient. Okay. This is going to be very dewy, very dewy. Uh, depending on who you are, I guess some people felt like it was too light of a coverage. I think it's perfect. Like I'm confused. I'm not sure what people are used to. I think if you're used to using a lot of concealer, which is fine. If you do, we all do our makeup, however the fuck we want to. But I think if you're used to using a lot of it, you might not feel like this has the coverage that you are looking for. Howsomever, I really like this. It's a very nice, lovely concealer it does a very good job on my under eyes and you can put it on top of foundation and that's kind of one of the things i like about it is that it does have like a light touch so if you're really trying to get that like reflect like look at my fucking like my face needs to not look like i have not slept for several hours i have been drinking heavily i am going into a downward spiral <laughs> Then this is for you. Then this is for you. Get that. Pick that up. Uh, next up, we also have the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It, mine, mine is in velvet. And this one, it's a fairly good concealer. I like this one. I can't, I haven't used it in a really long time, but I should use it. It is very, very thick. It's also going to be a, another, this is what it looks like. It's also going to be yet another very thick. I'm so bad at doing this because I'm always like, this is what it looks like upside down. Uh, and then this is, I put it right here. This is so fun. Like, look at my hand. Like, you look at all these different color concealers. You can, like, see the evolution of what my skin has been going <laughs> through. But, yeah, that is, uh pretty nice it's actually a very nice concealer to be honest but i will say that it does settle the fuck into those fine lines like it really does get up in there it's like vanish just kidding i'm back like it not initially i feel like within a couple hours it does it like starts to look dry and settles in so i highly recommend that you definitely definitely moisturize your under eyes before you wear that uh put that on next up we're going to talk about my two milani concealers i have the milani conceal and perfect long wear so this one was again when i was significantly darker okay and then this is when i got lighter and you're i know you're like looking at like what undertones are a thing peeps just let me live my life also i was just a little lighter than i, I was getting just a little bit lighter of a concealer um for multiple reasons but one of them was sweat so here is this one this one is in 160 and then the other one i picked up is in 175 so you can definitely tell that i started going through it because i used to be in the sun quite a bit uh back in the olden days when i could go outside <laughs> so this is the two of them right here lovely they're actually quite nice but again very 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 thick a very little bit goes a long way you do not want to get carried away with these uh because you will be sad if you if you do too much you like look it gets very thick and caked and you do not you're not gonna you're not gonna like how you look uh next up we are going to talk about the two kylie cosmetics i have two concealers from kylie cosmetics uh because they were on sale and as i've stated previously i'll buy most things if they're on sale honestly five dollars like ten dollars for both of these yes yes let me live my life i got it in let's see here almond and cinnamon i think both of them will look lovely i'm going to pop this one the first one i'm going to pop on here is going to be cinnamon i'm just saying it out loud so that you know what the hell i'm talking about uh and then the other one is going to be almond both of them have will actually look good on my skin one's just significantly more red the cinnamon has more red than the almond so can you see them? Can you see them? I'm talking about them. So that's them. So you can see like where I like my concealer. You know what I mean? It just depends on the day. All right, we have five more concealers left to go. Next up, we're going to have the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape, which I actually like. I do need to pick this up in a different shade. This shade is way too light, and it is because they started like doing weird sections with their 
colors which I really wish that they hadn't done that because now they have like tan deep honey and maybe it was always this way I just don't remember it being that way I remember I used to just be able to go to deep honey and it was my shade but I could be misremembering anyway I need the actual deep honey and it's I think it's too late for me to return this because obviously I wouldn't go outside and you can definitely see like I can I can work with this bitch like I can work with it and like oh, I can work with it and I can make it get you know in line howsomever you can see like that is pretty intense right I could make it get in line if I have to but like I don't want to have to so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side because uh, I'm sure I have like one of my friends I know can definitely use that <sighs> that's not gonna be me though it won't it won't be me there is like a dog hair on my hand and I can't <sighs> make it leave and it's just very upsetting so we're gonna move on Next up, we have the Becca uh, concealer. This was in, this was their ultimate coverage. This shit is thick. You know what? I need to let this go as well because first of all, <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see in there, but this is thick. This is a thicky thick bitch, okay? So I'm just gonna pop it on this knuckle. It's a very, very thick concealer. It's gonna cover all of your sins, but then it's gonna show all your sins afterwards and they're going to look worse. It's going to look like your sin was worse than it was before. Uh, and the reason is like, it's so damn thick that like, honestly, even the tiniest amounts, cause I fucked with this so many different ways. I liked it, I think at one point in time, but then I just started to realize that it was making me look like, you know, uh, it was, it's snow white is it snow white with the, the old witch who like shows up and she's got the hunchback and like the nose and, the, and she's like wow, 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 here's an apple that's what I look like after a couple hours with this on, and I'm not a fan. Next up, we are gonna talk about the Juvia's Place Concealer. I have mine in eight. I really like this concealer. This is also gonna be another another thick bitch. Like, this is, if you want your sins covered, they're going to be covered. I really like this. At the time, I think I didn't love it because I really did a very good job of shade matching almost perfectly, so. I was like, oh my God, I'm not used to like not having more light underneath my under eyes. And one of the reasons I used to use uh, more light wasn't even just the 2016 effect. A lot of it was because I was working in a lot of dark, dark environments. And so when you work in a dark environment, it, it, ended, it ended up looking good, uh, dark and sweaty environments. And so like all the dirt and stuff that I would get on my face, it would end up looking good by the end of the day. And I would typically go to the bar afterwards. So so that's that but I really like it it's actually very very luminous it's such a luminous concealer which I was not expecting from it but it is next up we are going to talk about the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix concealer I have mine in toffee which is number 14 love this love this love this the only thing that I would change about it is the applicator I hate this kind of applicator it is rude and it is also unnecessary it very much annoys me uh, because I just I feel like I'm wasting product every time I I do this because like um whenever I use it because it's just like I have to squirt it out and then I have to use this and I'm like oh I ended up not using as much as I wanted to very nice consistency gives your under eye like a little bit of a boost especially if you have those deep hollows like myself gives you a boost kind of evens those out and makes it look less prominent and finally at the end of the concealer party we have the elf hydrating camo concealer it's a satin finish concealer it is wonderful I really like this concealer I was very shocked and surprised by how much I enjoyed this I have mine in shade deep cinnamon so apparently this is one of the things that I do like is that they're starting to get to where they're more careful about like they're I feel like all the brands are homogenizing what cinnamon means because I feel like that was my problem with the Becca one is that this they called this almond and I was like what fucking what almond what is this the inside of the almond it's certainly not the outside that's weird anyways um, <laughs> So yeah, that is the e.l.f. concealer. It's very, very hydrating. I believe I have it on right now. I'm like, I believe I have it on now. I just filmed this bit, that video, Audra. Yes, you have that on now. Uh, but yeah, I like it a lot. It looks nice. It doesn't really crease. It looks good on my face. It looks good here. I look like a bad bitch and I'm here for it. And that is it. That is my entire concealer collection with swatches. <laughs> <laughs> I got weirder every minute. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and please, if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so then that way the algorithm goddess can continue pushing me down below so that I can continue to do what, whatever the fuck I want. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons.
friends and spooky bays, yeah. Without y'all, we would not be able to keep the bats in the belfry and the spiders in their web. So I truly appreciate all of you who do so and all of you who watch every day, whether you support financially or not, because that is important. A lot of these items will be linked in the description below. They will also what be affiliate links and what I get money off of those. And if it makes you feel weird, then like definitely don't use them. But if you don't mind and you are gonna be shopping anyway, please feel free to do so. All right, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. It costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure as hell coming for yours. I have the candle burning and I'm ready and waiting. Until next time, XOXO. <laughs> Gallagher. <laughs> oh shit. Mm -mm. Drink your water, boo. In my life, take me to church. I'll push you like a dog. Try to get love. I don't like the way he's looking at you. So I fall in love with a little love of a bitch. And if we dig someone new, I'm starting to think you like him too. <laughs> no, I'm not taking my ass like a weirdo. Yes, I am. It's my right to be hailish. I still get jealous. Oh, cause I fall in love with a little, a oh, little bit every day. <laughs> Your work keeps sexy, beautiful, and everybody wants a taste. That's why. <laughs> this got so weird. <laughs>